Vault 88 emergency classification. Unspecified integrity breach warning. Any available Vault Tech personnel are required to respond under Emergency Protocol BT-76. This signal will repeat. were meant to withstand a direct nuclear strike. Attempts to breach this facility are laughable. Leave at once, or there will be consequences. When will you tire of this futility? Dr. Braun, if he's even still around, that I have used the time for Dr. Workshops require their control board to function. During emergencies, the procedure is to store it in the reactor room. Look in there and you should find it. Careful, sir. I don't think we're alone. 
Hey there. You aren't what I was expecting. You do have a pit boy. You're from a vault. But you're clearly not with Voltec. What are you doing here? Why did you help me? It was the neighborly thing to do. Such a fine. Right. My name is Valerie Barstow, and I was to be the overseer of this vault. But please, follow me. I have a proposal for you. It's been a hard 200 years. I was giving a tour of what was to be my pride and joy. My vault. Then, the earthquakes. The sirens. They died. Perhaps they were lucky. The radiation. Somehow, I was spared. Julian, what is it? Sorry. He's not much of a... My Stop! What are you doing? Julian! What are you doing? <laughs> Julian! I'm sorry. <coughs> They've never done anything hostile towards me, though. It's probably best if you put them out of their misery. It's better to put the poor their misery at last.
tried digging my way to the end, but there was simply too much rubble for the equipment to handle. But my work kept me going. Here, among these papers, is my life's work. Uh -huh. Dr. Braun tasked me with something vital. A series of prototypes and their related. But, as you can see, things did not go according to plan. Sounds like you've had a pretty tough time. I've had many dark days down here. Even despair. But the work, always the work, sustained me. This vault was meant to be spacious, full of trained staff, trusted subordinates and scientists. Despite how things have played out, I see opportunity. Let us work together, as partners. If you need me so bad, make it worth my while. What I want is a partner. But if money will convince you, here. Take this. Do we have a deal? Let's do this then. Good. Excellent. We cannot begin to run the experiments. The information in the desk's terminal will prove. I entrust you with the future of our vault. Vault? Mm hmm. My overseer's desk and the proper vault tech terminal. Make sure you don't leave anything useful behind. This, please, I beg your indulgence, but we must not dally. The work compels us. The vault was supposed to have a very specific set of residents. After all, to conduct human trials, you need the perfect test subjects. Let's find ourselves a guinea pig. The Vault Tech Handbook urges overseers to refrain from using that word, no matter how apt. I see you've already turned on the Vault's radio beacon. Good. While we wait for word to spread, perhaps you might use this time to explore Vault 88. If you can clear some of the rubble, you may be able to access some of the other building sectors. Any materials or equipment that's...
Hey. How may I be of service? Sure, go ahead and take a look.
Hey. Yes, sir. Hope you find what you're looking for. <clears throat> anything useful?
I'll be with you in a moment. Excuse me. Just a moment and we can begin. Nah, I don't know about this. Please, step forward. Ah, yes. Welcome. Welcome. Right. So, this here's a vault, right? Quite correct. And you could be one of our lucky new residents. You do got food in this vault, right? Of course. And a chance at a new life. A question or two first, however. What do you think is the role of a good government? Government? What the hell are you talking about? It's all right. We're the good guys. Just answer the questions. Hmm, you seem... All right. Okay. From what I heard, them governments are why everything's radioactive. You won't do for our special assignment. <coughs> but welcome to our vault. Your new home. If she is representative of what's left above, the outside world must be rougher than I imagined. Are you ready for the next interview? Let's continue. All right. Hello. This is a real nice place you have here. Real nice. And I can go wherever I like, right? Within reason, yes. But I have a question for you. Sure, sure. What do you want to know? A hypothetical. Let's say the reactor core is melting down, and you're the only one who could stop it. Is there something wrong with your reactor? No, no, it's fine. <gasps> so you can stop the meltdown. But you'd suffer from extreme radiation exposure. What would you do? Well, whatever you'd like. If you don't mind, I'm anxious to look around. Give the Overseer's question some thought and really answer it. Huh, fine. You're... Nobody's gonna do that. If you're thinking about ripping us off, don't. Listen, it's hell up there. If you really give me food and a place to stay, I'll be good. Just don't go expecting me to jump in a reactor for you. I think we could use them in our vault. As long as you guys are on the level, I'll give this thing a try. Honest. I appreciate your... candor. You can st uh -huh. Go ahead and get acquainted with your new home. What a... colorful gentleman. Clear... Uh -huh. Here's hoping third time's a charm. Let's do the next interview then. As you say, hello. Welcome to your new home. Wow. A real overseer. I, I, I am so happy to be here. I uh, yes. Clem, is it? Before you settle in, I have some questions. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. Well, uh, that's good. You've <coughs> been assigned guard duty. You know. Stand watch and make sure outsiders don't breach the perimeter. But from inside the vault, you hear a woman screaming. What would you do? You want me to guard something? Sure. Uh, I can do that. I can do that right now, if you want. But I don't hear any screaming, lady overseer. Nothing to be nervous about. Think about it and answer. Yeah, s sorry. Well... If you tell me to guard, I guard. And I won't leave my post unless you tell me to. Is... is that okay? Another question for you. What can you tell me about your mother? Oh, she passed. But she was nice. You would have liked her. She called... she killed a mole rat once. Really? Uh, that's remarkable. Sure. Well, she was strong because of the mole rat. And she, uh, uh, she, she fed me. God, I I'm sorry. Th this place is so much better than the ditch I was living in. I like him. I think we found our man. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Uh, found what exactly? We're looking for a volunteer, Clem. Someone to test some new devices that will help. Are you interested? You mean I can stay? <coughs> I, 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 I mean, yes. I'll help out. I like helping. That's me, Clem. Always willing to help out. And no time like the present to commence. The first step is to get him properly equipped and dressed. There should be supplies in the welcome area.
Clem, let's get you outfitted like a real vault dweller. I'm just so excited to be here. I'll do good. You'll see. <laughs> I just want to trade a few things. Okay. Just looking to trade a little. Sure thing. <laughs> 